Welcome to the Enjoy More 30s Family Finance Podcast, the only podcast dedicated to making life more enjoyable for young families by hitting on the financial topics that tend to weigh on us, stress us out, and distract our focus from simply enjoying life. Hello and welcome to the Enjoy More 30s Family Finance Podcast. For all those people out there trying to avoid being financially secure, well, we have our series for you, 10 Ways to Not Be a Millionaire. Now, if you actually do want to be a millionaire, not to worry. This series isn't just for those people who are looking for some kind of financial ruin. If you avoid doing these 10 things, then you could be well on your way to millionairehood as well. Each week, I'll share a quick step in this how to not be a millionaire process so you know what to do or hopefully what to avoid at all costs. As always, before I begin, please share and like, please leave reviews. I'd love to reach and help as many young families out there just like you. Today's great tip on how to not be a millionaire is living for lifestyle. I save this one for last because it is by far the easiest and most fun way to not be a millionaire. Ever hear someone say so-and-so is quote-unquote doing well or is quote-unquote well off or is quote-unquote making good money and then proceed to rattle off a bunch of things they spent money on like home renovations, expensive vacations, or fancy cars to prove their point. This is a great way to fool ourselves into believing that spending money means that you have wealth. The more we can convince ourselves of this point, the farther away from being a millionaire we can go. Let's say between a little bit of a fancier car, larger house, and other great lifestyle items, we can increase our spending by $500 a month. Doesn't sound like too, too much, but let's just see how much this can help us not be a millionaire. If we are spending the extra $500 a month, that means we cannot save the extra $500 a month. And so, for example, we can help ourselves miss out on an extra $500 a month savings for, say, the next 30 years, which, if it grew at an assumed 10%, would come out to over $1.1 million. If you do not want to be a millionaire, you can see just how important extra lifestyle spending can be to avoid millionairehood. If, however, you do want to be a millionaire, you can see just how far extra savings can go. And so instead of believing spending money means that you have wealth, you can instead take on the mantra of It is not about how much you make, it is about how much you save. If you make $400,000 a year in wages and save $60,000 a year of that, you are saving 15%. If you make much less, let's say $100,000 a year in wages and save $20,000 a year, you are saving 20%. You are making less, saving less, But because you are saving a larger percentage of your income, you would likely be on a much better path towards accomplishing your goals. Furthermore, if the $400,000 earner is saving $60,000, that means they are living on the other $340,000 a year. When they retire, will they want to give up all those great lifestyle items they have grown accustomed to over the last 30 years? Of course not. That is a lot of money to have to replace in retirement. The $100,000 earner has to only replace $80,000 after accounting for that $20,000 a year of savings. A much easier task with Social Security likely covering 50% or more of it for them already. Overall, I think it is more than clear. Living for lifestyle is a fantastic way to not be a millionaire. Thanks for tuning in today and join us for next week's series recap of how to not be a millionaire, where we will highlight all these wonderful tips and tricks to not be a millionaire. And I suppose if you actually do want to be a millionaire, well, then you can go ahead and have a great list of things that you should do the exact opposite of instead. As always, please remember to review and share for others. And if you need any help, don't hesitate in reaching out. I probably have helped someone just like you. Until next week, thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. The conversations on this show are Joe's opinions and provided for general information purposes only. 
They do not constitute accounting, legal, tax, or other professional advice for your specific situation. You should always seek appropriate advice from a financial advisor, accountant, lawyer, or other professional before acting upon any content or information found here first. Joe is affiliated with New Horizons Wealth Management, LLC, a branch office of TFS Securities, Inc., and TFS Advisory Services, an SEC-registered investment advisor, member FINRA SIPC.